Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be talking about AMD foam dressing. But first, if you could hit that like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel grow. So let's get started. So the AMD antimicrobial foam dressing is a white polyurethane foam dressing that's been impregnated with 0.5% PHMB. Um, and it is designed to transfer exudate into the secondary dressing. The broad spectrum topical um, antiseptic, it is effective against gram positive and gram negative. So that's your MRSA, your VRE, your pseudomonas, your fungi, and your yeast. Um, so it is good against those for seven days as long as the dressing hasn't reached its saturation point. So when are we going to use this dressing? So when you need a foam for a wound that does have a local infection, we can use this. Um, so this is for, it does have the antimicrobial to it, the PHMB, so we want to have that local wound infection. Now it can also be used if it has a more deep spreading infection, but it needs to be in combination with your antibiotics. Um, so this will take care of a local infection perfectly. Now the manufacturer did not put out any precautions, but for contraindications, we're not going to be using this on anyone with a sensitivity or allergy to PHMB. We're not going to use this with Dankin solution or a bleach solution as it does um, deactivate the PHMB. And we're not going to use this as a primary dressing on third degree burns. So just like when we go, before we go to put on any dressing on any wound, we first need to cleanse it. So we're gonna clean it with normal saline or sterile water. You're going to dry the peri wound. And if you need to, you can apply a skin barrier uh, to the peri wound. So to apply this dressing, now the dressing can be cut, but you wanna make sure that the dressing size does extend past the wound edges by five centimeters, okay? So it around the peri wound, five centimeters uh, for this dressing. You can cut it, um, you can notch it just to improve application over different curves. Um, if using a foam sheet, apply either directly to the wound bed or cover, um, you can cover it with an absorbent secondary dressing. So to remove this dressing, we're just going to carefully lift the borders or the tape and just gently remove it. If you need to use any sterile saline, feel free um, just to make it lift a little bit better. Sometimes you have to just saturate it and leave it for a minute or two and it will lift off nicely. So your expected outcome of using this dressing is that the infections are resolved within two weeks. Okay. Um, frequency of dressing change, so it can be left for seven days. Um, with that said, if it becomes like the saturation um, of exidy is within one centimeter of the dressing's edge, it needs to be changed, okay? And then I did add here uh, just the different sizes and formats. So the fenestrated, it does have little holes in it, so it does um, pull the exudate through to the top secondary dressing, okay? So anytime you have fenestrated, it's little holes that the exudate can go through. That's what that is. Um, but they're not all fenestrated, so it's just this one on the bottom here. These ones do not have any holes, and the discs do also. So that's all that I have for this video. I hope you did find it um, helpful in your daily practice. And if you haven't done so already, if you could please hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video. See ya.